Hello, hello. So today I'm just going to be talking about Zed's latest released. And if you're not familiar with Zed, they are another code editor. If you're familiar with the IDEs that are currently out, including Cursor, Windsurf, VS Code, etc., then Zed is essentially another one of the competitors, but they are quietly building in the background. And I've been paying attention to them because they boast, you know, very speedy experiences for developers on Mac. And I've tried them out before, really like what they're doing. Uh, they are Rust powered, as you can see here. So just from the testimonials, you can kind of see why people are choosing Zed. You can see over here, right? You've got people from AWS, um, from Dashbit. And I think one of the interesting things is with each of these new IDEs, you are starting to see a an, an attraction or a grouping around values. So people are choosing their tools, not necessarily on speed or efficiency, but what they value as human beings and then mapping that onto their tool choices. And so seeing that, it's really interesting because I think a lot of times when new tools come out, people are naturally trying to gravitate to what's the fastest, what's perceived to be the best or popular. But once they start to sit down and actually work with these tools, they're going to start looking at what actually feels right, the vibe, right? And each of these tools do emit a vibe. So... Z agents delivered complete features while also preserving my project's coding standards. Now, what I actually wanted to share was their latest blog post. So I want to go through here. So Z, the fastest AI code editor, bold claim, right? So for millions of years, humans have used tools to create things. We programmers have recently created some very useful tools for ourselves, large language models. So far, these futuristic tools have been accessible to programmers in one, in one of three ways. And these are the three ways. But as of today, there is now a fourth option, and that is the world's fastest AI code editor. Okay, so why are they saying this? So if you're not familiar with Rust, um, Rust is another open source programming language that is also increasing in popularity. And I think it's been fascinating to see the community grow um, in this regard. And... I think it's going to be interesting, actually, to just show you. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, what I do like about this is Zed does allow you to actually access a lot more models natively within the IDE interface. If you're using Cursor or Windsurf, um, it can actually be quite limited in terms of the models that you can choose. And Zed, Zed also allows you to be able to leverage uh, local LLMs. So if you don't even want to use any of the cloud-based LLMs, you can use your local ones and save even further. All right, so I'm just going to skip ahead to some of the other uh, main parts of this video. So in Zed, essentially, um, instead of just staying stuck in one window, you can let the agent get to work in multiple windows. I think I have seen some crazy workflows where some guys literally have like 100 ongoing processes in parallel with various agents um, outside of an IDE, but it's all doable. All right. Okay, so what he's doing here is actually um, just going through a lot of the edits uh, himself. So he likes to review what the agent has done as he's trying to get things fixed. 
And of course, you know, if you're at advanced levels, uh, this is great. But I think if you are a vibe coder, um, you might just trust the agent to, to do its thing. So uh, another really cool feature of Zed is that with its agents, it looks like it also does a better job of being able to catch errors in the terminal and automatically fix them, right? So one of the things that stops my workflow and say windsurf is that when there is a an error, say in the browser version in the console, it will tell me to go and try and screenshot it and then bring it back. There are agents you can set up. You can also set up Klein, uh, Klein bot uh, to help you do this automatically, but it's still something that you need to tell it to do, or it's not as automated as you may like. Okay. And I think that's going to change over the next, you know, maybe even a few months, but that it looks like it's trying to lead the way. All right. So with this, right, um, it has an agent panel and it lets you tell an AI agent what to do. And it'll do as you ask the best to the best of its ability. And I think Zed also does a better good job with handling large code bases, which is great um, because it's using an agent and multiple agents. So I think this might be similar to Klein, but they're offering it straight within their platform. So privacy and security by default. The conversation with the agent is private by default. Zed doesn't harvest your data for training purposes. I think with with Windsurf, I think they might be harvesting it because I, I overheard some of the developers at Windsurf talk about how they have information on the way developers are working, which is why I think OpenAI has acquired them. That data seems to be invaluable for them. The agent will also prompt you for confirmation before doing things that potentially couldn't be done, done, like running terminal commands. You can also tell it to always confirm if you aren't worried about what it might run. So I guess that's cool too. Security prompts aside, generally the agent is designed to run in the background without bothering you, so you can do other things while it works. When the agent is done, you get a notification if you had Z in the background. Great, and you can see that over here. And then once it's done, you can review everything it did in one unified diff. Custom models, custom tools. So dropdown lets you choose which language model powers the agent. In addition to our selection to popular models like Claude 3.7, Gemini 2.5, available either through the Z account. Okay. So I've also been hearing that Quen is on the up and it's about as comparable as Gemini 2.5 right now. Really interesting. All right, so this is just more details on what Zed is doing. You can see ask. So these are the MCP servers. Now, I think what's interesting is that with the MCP servers, in these IDEs, gosh, they still need to work on turning this into essentially like a, an app store interface. Kleinbot actually has done this quite well. And it's, from what I know, it's not its own IDE. It's literally something that just integrates into other IDEs. But they have a marketplace for MCP servers, and they make it look like an app store, which I think is way better than what we're seeing here. All right. So I think the biggest thing here is says, have a look at this. Costs nothing to use Zed without the AI feature. So if you want to use the AI features via cloud, then it's paid, but you don't have to, especially if you've got a machine that can actually run LLMs locally now. All right. As you can see there. They're also giving away some amount of usage, AI usage. And the goal at Zed has always been to make the world's best code editor. They built the agent panel because it be they believe that the world's best code editor should give its users easy access to helpful AI agents, not because they're trying to make money by charging a premium on top of third-party AI services. Long-term, we aim to build a self-sustaining business where revenue comes mostly from optional paid features that make an already great experience even better. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if this works. It's very noble, but I wonder how it's going to pan out because you're seeing the amount of money that's going to Cursor and Windsurf right now. They're kind of leading the way uh, in terms of most popular and most venture backed. And uh, there's always going to be a place for the underdog. So for an underdog story, I think I am definitely in support of Zed, but you be the judge, have a look, let me know what you think and yeah, give it a try. Hopefully this is useful.